previously on a Hey you guys, I just really want to get on here and just say happy Thanksgiving and, and happy holidays from my family to yours. I hope that you have a great holiday. You home. <laughs> Enjoy with people that you want to be around. All right, Granny. I mean, I know that everybody want to go have grandma, auntie, whoever, you know, around family that you haven't seen. Halfway home. And look out for your other loved ones where you need to be. What's up, you guys? We gotta talk. I know it's been what about a month, almost two months. Um, I know I said it before, a lot been going on, but a lot been going on. Um, I'm having to, to hide or to give her the pain that I'm going through, but um, as you can see from the beginning. A lot of stuff has changed, a lot of fun stuff happened, and a lot of sorrow as well. Um, if you didn't catch it, um, right after this video right here, I'm going to put right here, this very video, I posted a day before Thanksgiving. A day before Thanksgiving. And never in my life would have known that something traumatic was going to happen to myself and my family the next day. Life happens, life happens. I'm gonna just go ahead. I hope this little story is not gonna be a long story, but I'm just, you know, before we get into the story, I'm sorry, excuse me. If y'all new to my channel, what's up you guys? This your girl Ashley, L-E-I-G-H, and welcome again. Um, like I said, my neighbors, I appreciate y'all supporting me. Even though I ain't been on here a month, I see the subscribers are going up Thank you. I really do appreciate that because I was like, this is the end of me. Like, they're, they're, they're going to turn off. They're going to not want to be my neighbors. Like, you know, like, dang, she ain't posting nothing. What's up? Yes, I know. It's been crazy. And if you know YouTube, everybody has a moment. It's called life. And sometimes you can't get on here and be, hi. Can't do all that because you ain't with it. You know, you just not, I wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't. I'm going to tell you why. But like I said, thank you for subscribing and welcome to the neighborhood. And my channel is all about life, health, fitness, and vlogging. So if you like, then please stay tuned. I am going to be coming with more videos. So please bear with me. Um, so anyway, the day after that, it was Thanksgiving Day. Um, we're doing our normal routine for around the holidays. Like everybody else, I know it's during this time it's COVID. So a lot of people are not being around their families like that. And I had spoke about that in that video. Um, check that video out too. You know, just saying. Um, and we supposed to be bringing food. We all going, to, like we all coming together to like, make a meal for thanksgiving you know we're going to my grandmother's house and you know i'm not gonna go into detail because you know at the end of the day that is my grandmother this you know my family's watching as well as my neighborhood they are part of the neighborhood too and you know i just we're very private at the same time so i'm not gonna go quite into it but i'm gonna say this um you know normal routine you know we get a phone call that grandma had a stroke and it was shocking to me because I'm like, what do you mean she had a stroke? And she's just like, you know, you know, we stopped everything. You know, my mom goes rushed, rushed her, you know, the house they went to the, took her to the hospital and all that. But um, it's been pretty much a, a roller coaster ever since that day. You got, you know, Thanksgiving, you got Christmas, you got New Year's. These three holidays has been crucial. Not only that, not only that, it, it was three holidays. My mother, my sister, and I birthdays are in these holidays months as well. So my mom go first for the 
Thanksgiving. Mine's like right there with Christmas and my sister's is right after New Year's, um, you know, New Year's Day. So we have six things going on on top of what's going on, Grandma. So um, I'm just going to wrap it all up and just be say like my grandmother, um, we just had a lot of stuff going on. Um, she was doing good, you know, she was getting her therapy back and everything. She was doing great. And, you know, um, she went from the hospital to a nursing home. That nursing home didn't do so well. Um, I'm not going into details, but yeah, they weren't doing her how they were supposed to do her right. Um, had to go back to the hospital. Um, went back to another nursing home because we weren't comfortable for her going back. Uh, she was doing well there as well, and we were just like, you know, we want her to be around family. It was hard for her to have family during the COVID because they don't let any, like, families in. But um, they did let her daughters go in, which is my mother. She's one of her daughters and my two aunts um, to go check on and make sure she was straight. But, you know, with me or the other cousins had to do video time with her. Um, so they were like, yeah, she can come home, you know, yeah, we'll just do physical therapy and speech therapy when she gets home. Like, great. Oh my gosh, grandma gets to come home and it's right before her birthday. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's do this. Like, whatever she needs, I'm here. So grandma come home on her birthday and I'm like ecstatic. We're all happy. We're like, thank you, God. And, you know, of course, one well, for him, you know, she wouldn't be able to get here, but um, God had more in store for her, you know, so I don't know what, I, I just don't know. So she did good that first day and I was, sorry you guys, my little notifications was like popping up. Um, she did great, you know, we was happy, she was talking, we sang happy birthday to her, she was singing and, you know, we were making her all comfortable, like everything was great. And then the next day was not so great. Um, so, you know, she wasn't doing too well and it was just a lot of stuff was going on through the day and it was just like, oh my gosh, I just need a break. Now, remind you, this is, her birthday is the 30th. So the next day is New Year's Eve. So I'm like, you know, we're all taking turns like, okay, you watch her this time, that time, blah, blah, make sure she's good. She's always got family around. Great. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, okay, I can do this, Ashley, because you do work, you you do got your kid, you do homeschooling, you're doing a lot, but it's your grandma, so you, you got to pull through. Like, she would have did it for me, period, if I had to. You know, and my grandma will do anything for anybody. That's how she was. Um, So, you know, she wasn't doing too well that night, and it was almost close to the countdown, and we're just like, okay. She didn't go back to the hospital because something's not right. She didn't want to eat. She didn't want to drink. And she just let me know when I was trying to give her, her stuff, like, no. No. And when she said that to me, I'm like, okay. I'm going to just respect that and just let her do her. I can't force you to do nothing. You're a grown woman, you know. So we called MMR to come pick her up. She was at peace. And, you know, of course, I didn't want to let her go and all that. But, yeah, after that, New Year's Day, my grandmother went on and passed away. So, story short, it's been a rough holiday for my family and I. Um, her passing on, um, you know, New Year's, it's really been rough because, I mean, my grandmother was healthy like let me tell you she only took two pills like maybe a blood pressure pill because everybody you know we're african-american most of us take blood pressure well older people take blood pressure pills she didn't have to you know she was pretty healthy and i mean she's the reason why i know what i know you know because she always got some herb you don't need to take these pills because you can get it from this you can get it from that these this food and vegetables this is the way of living. She always lived like that. They always, my, my grandparents had a big garden and that's all they ate was vegetables. They only went to the store to get meat, okay? That, that sums up their life. Um, 
and you know they had six kids so they had to provide for them and make sure that they got all their nutrients and their all their food and make sure they was good so yeah big huge garden. i wish i had a picture of it it's crazy like i can't believe i i mean they don't have the garden anymore because you know my grandfather passed away years ago about 10 years ago but um yeah like she only she took her vitamins she was all she was very into health she was very into keeping herself young keeping herself looking good moving around and she was she was moving around up until thanksgiving day thanksgiving day she was still moving around so she never she always been independent and i feel that my grandmother did not want um she didn't want us to help her like that because she always been like that. My grandma was like, if I can't take care of myself, I don't want to be here. And she always been like that. So I guess that's pretty much how that went. Um, so I, I really had a hard time because like I said, she she nothing was never wrong with her. She never had any issues. She never had any um, symptoms of her having a stroke. Um, she was very, very healthy. She took a, a blood pressure pill and then she took her multivitamin. That was it. So it hit the family hard. And I'm trying to, at the same time, still show y'all like I'm still trying to, because I agreed to do Vlogmas. Yes, I know you're like, what the heck? You had two Vlogmas. I was pushing through on those two videos, but I had made multiple videos after that and I just felt very fake. Like I was pushing my emotions aside to please y'all and at the same time, I'm sorry my family comes first. Like, I love y'all neighbors. You know y'all my crew and everything. But y'all should know because it's life. We all live it. Even though we on YouTube and regardless if it's a, a billion people watching, a few, it's life. And that's where you have to draw the line. Like, you know what? I'm going to take a breather real quick. I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to come back and let y'all know like I am doing right now and get on her. It took me a while because um her passing today is the what? 20th or something like that. I was just dreading because I'm like, it's, it took me, it took so much energy. It took so much energy from Thanksgiving to New Year's to the funeral you know the ceremony out of me so it was a lot um and of course it was a lot on my family and i didn't want to be on here just okay yeah ah, you wanna, i'm not i can't do that i'm gonna keep it real as always um so with that being said you know grandma i love you i know you're gonna be watching over us um I know you know you in a better place because the, the woman been saved for years, okay? You listen to her voicemail. Her voicemail is like, God of glory. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us see you another day. You know, like, you know how grandmothers, they go right straight in. They let, yeah. You, you pick up her phone like, hey, grandma, how you doing? God is good all the time. And you be like, okay, that's right. You know, make bless me to see another day. That's how she is very into it you know anything i needed like i'm like grandma i'm going out of town grandma i got a job coming up i got an opportunity somewhere i've got this going like pray for me every time she prayed for me things always happen so i mean i'm truly blessed about that i mean i pray anyway but you know like grandma's prayer be ugh, it's like they know what to say um so yeah with that you know rest in peace grandmother i love you and we'll see you again one day no hopefully not soon but one day until then also i just want to get on here you know i'm gonna still be putting videos out i'm gonna start working into my videos you guys i told y'all i'm gonna start doing more videos um more out the week i really want to show y'all my new lifestyle that i have chosen during that time because i was nervous about gaining weight because that's that's my trigger spot when i am under stress i go through a lot of emotional eating and binging and i didn't want to do that so i did lose um some weight um and <laughs> i'll show you pictures and all that for another video and stuff like that and what i'm doing my new lifestyle and i want to show you guys because it's easy to adapt so just 
bear with me. I'm doing this video that you know what's going on with me. I am back. I'll be making more videos, but we'll be going into it. I will be showing you my fitness because I remember telling y'all that. Sorry about Vlogmas, but hey, maybe next year or, you know, the end of the year. Um, hopefully, they, everything, like, go up. And that's another thing. It's hard to do Vlogmas when a lot of things are not open that's typically open. But hopefully this year we can do that and move forward. So, yeah, more fitness, more health coming at you. Vlogs are coming up, so just be aware because there's going to be some surprise vlogs that I'm going to be doing. And I'm like, what the heck, this girl... But yeah, just, I'm going to be showing y'all. So just keep on watching. Thank you for supporting me. I love you guys. And I appreciate everything. You know, y'all support, y'all likes, y'all comments. Of course, y'all subscribe. Thank you. And I appreciate it. And I'm out. Bye. Till next time.